Good morning. It's Monday, July 1st, and the President of the United States has no organized process outside his family in deciding to run for a second term. And that's according to something that was reported in the New York Times. So Biden alone makes the decision with people close to him, and he has decided to run for a second term as of right now. Now, I would prefer if he stepped aside and let somebody else take up the mantle. But I see standing in the background is Kamala Harris, who has done a reasonably good job as the vice president, but has managed to stay out of the limelight most of the time. And when I looked at that, I said that was pretty bad, that she should have stepped up and done a few other things, etc., etc. But then I recognized the fact that most vice presidents stay out of the limelight. They have certain tasks to do, and they are asked to do those tasks. So if Biden steps down, logistically people would think that Kamala Harris should be the next nominee, since she's done a reasonably good job as a vice president. And if something had happened, to Biden during his term, she would have assumed the office. So why not run her as a candidate? Well, I'm going to say right now it's probably going to upset several people, or maybe more than several people. But Kamala Harris is a black woman. And the other thing that is a strike against her is that she is married to a Jew. Now, those two things in our world should be easily acceptable in the United States. But there are many, many people who still discriminate against people of color and against Jews. Antipatism has risen in the recent past by very large percentages. We haven't seen this type of rise in many, many years. But antisemitism has never left the world. It is a constant disease that infects many, many people without any logical reason. So I would suggest that those two factors, being a black woman and having a Jew as a husband, would be very detrimental to Kamala Harris if she were to attempt a run at the presidency. Now, maybe Maybe the Democrats are ignoring that, or maybe they believe that that situation would not apply in this world. But I think they would be making a huge mistake if they did not take that into consideration as putting her forward as a candidate. Even though she's probably eminently qualified to do the job, I have no reason to dispute that fact. She did what she did as vice president, what all the other vice presidents do. They do their job and they do it outside of the limelight because that's what they're supposed to do. They're not supposed to get headlines or anything. Those speeches, those opportunities are left for the president. So while I really believe that Kamala Harris could do the job if she were elected, I just don't think this country is ready for a black woman to run, especially married to a Jew. So you may say I'm looking at this thing from the medieval view, a view that has gone away or should have gone away years and years ago. But I don't believe that's true. Anti-Semitism in this country has risen tremendously in the past couple of years. And I don't know why it keeps rising. I don't know why. And if anybody's out there that can tell me why, I would be happy to hear it. So I think 
that Biden is stuck in a terrible situation. I don't know if he's considered what I have just told you, but I think if he's looking around, he probably believes that he's the only one that can carry the Democrats to victory again. And his small group, which is his immediate family and one or two trusted, I don't want to call them advisors because he doesn't call them advisors, but trusted compatriots, let's call them that, have said he should continue, and he's going to recover from his debate debacle. I don't know if that's possible. I don't know. I don't think that people in this country really respect age as much as they should. But then, when you put on the performance that he put on on the debate stage, that was a terrible performance. That cost him a lot of points in a lot of places. So he's got a couple of weeks to think about it because the convention is in August, I believe. So maybe, maybe he'll come to his senses and he'll figure out a way to not run. But then who will be the candidate? That's the question. And many people are talking about Whitma and somebody else, but they're not talking about Kamala Kamala Harris that much. And Newsom. Newsom is the other candidate beside Grissom. While Kamala Harris is upset, the Democrats realize that their chances of winning the election if Biden drops out would not be very good for the candidate. And that's why they're looking at these alternate choices. And what can Harris do about that? Step to the plate and show some vibrancy. Attack them. Declare something that gives you a little bit of the limelight. And maybe, maybe, just maybe, you might get a shot at the presidential candidacy. But it all depends on what Biden does. And right now, he's determined to run again. So we have a real conundrum in the Democratic lap, so to speak. Who should be their candidate? Will the old man run again and win? Is his vice president capable of taking the reins? Who in the party do we have? All those questions must be popping through the hierarchy of the Democrats right now. And I tell you something, they are caught by the short hairs because they don't have much time. So they have to come out 100% strong behind Biden, or they have to get rid of him quickly. Not a pleasant situation for the Democrats. And who knows what the Supreme Court is going to throw into the mix today. Have a great day. Bye. Thank you.